What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Clean Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Hey, hope y'all have had a happy Thanksgiving, man. Uh, it is Thanksgiving Day here. I guess I'll put this video up today. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, this is just going to be a day of random stuff. Uh, so the first thing is, I'm headed down here to my neighbor's cabinet shop. And if Josh, if you're watching, I'm just driving across the road, buddy. In fact, I'm not even going fast enough for the seatbelt thing to beep yet. I think you have to get up to about 10 miles an hour and then it'll start beefing or something. But uh, anyway, I'm about to go down here. Uh, got a project I'm working on. so, And I just got like a bunch of random stuff I'm going to try to do today. Like a little of this, a little of that, a little of that. So anyway, stay tuned. Should be interesting. Probably be a long video. Who knows? All right, I don't know if y'all remember, ages ago, I built this bench for my daughter, and it just didn't turn out right. What I later found out is the Minwax brand stain or something in it, and that's what bled back through. It's been painted like six, more, six or seven times, and it's still yellow looking. So, there's 2.0. <laughs> uh, I finally put this together, and I got a coat of uh, primer on it. I'm getting ready to uh, caulk it, uh, sand it, and caulk it up. A little bit of spackling, like on that big knot there, and uh, I'll get it painted. Get it painted, then get it uh, distressed and sealed. All right, we got a coat of white on it now. White, white, bright, ain't it? Got the heater going, I'm trying to dry. It. Put another coat on it, then I'm on a. Uh, uh, sand the edges kind of distress it then i'll put a clear coat of lacquer man look at this mess <laughs> hey look at there i did a little short video uh and said y'all remember a long time ago i was doing a video on something and there was this guy come in there and he said uh if you clean your shop out i might take you serious so i did a little short says time to take me serious bro all that's church stuff, except for my one little running trophy here. And my wife's bowling ball. I need to take that, I guess. Not that we really bowl, but I don't want to leave it here. But all of this is paint and stuff that I've used. I don't think they're going to use any of that, but it's there. So that and the extra tile and all. This is actually a guy in the churches. Uh, the one I went and got the tile saw from, this is his tools. I need to get the saw and that and take it back to him. So anyway, a little bit of pipe insulation up there, but again, that's the church's stuff that I bought to insulate pipes around here. So somebody's gonna have my nice shop, man. This didn't even have a breaker panel when I came here. Uh, I think I might have had a little old thing with one breaker in or something, but it got this nice big box, outlets installed all over, 220. 220 you know, uh, then there's uh well really there's uh eight outlets on this side and there's 10 on this side and there's one right here for an air compressor so hopefully the uh hopefully the new guy that comes here you know wants a shop i hope because they've been a lot invested in this one and uh you know, it's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good size deal here. You know, you got, you got, uh, you got some square footage to work with. I was actually going to close this front end, but I never did. So I guess had I done that, it would have been even better, huh? All right. I got to load up some more stuff. Man, I almost didn't get the refrigerator. <laughs> um, when we moved here, we had a refrigerator. We had a side by side. So we took and put it, we put the one that was in the house in the laundry room right under there. But that was just an opening. It didn't have a door in it. And somebody had bought a door for it, but it's like a, a 28 inch opening. <laughs> and I framed it in and put the door in it, you know, after I had moved here. We'd probably been here months and so <laughs> i took the doors off 
everything off and I mean it tore the water line off getting it out I mean it was it was tight like a you had like a quarter inch from metal to metal on a you know um, so anyway I got it though now our side by side the church has it now uh, anyway because we got a new one at the house so anyway long story but the church has it so I'm just gonna keep this one which what I want it for works better uh, this is eventually gonna go in my shop and just gonna keep cases of water in it um, that way when we put the water in the cooler in the mornings it's already cold and that'll help out a lot with the ice and all so um, anyway gotta get down and get all this stuff unloaded all right there we go put a light distress on it got a coat of uh, clear lacquer on it now so even tried to leave it old like I didn't do normally on caulk job I do a real good clean out but on this I just left it kind of you know if you go back and look at old stuff where it's been caught multiple times um, I didn't really do anything with the back, but let it dry a few hours and uh, it'll be ready. So what I've been working on, you know, here the goats, and they're going to be fed. What I've been working on is clearing a path. This is not going to be the, this won't be the permanent road, but I'm trying to make a temporary road to get back somewhat to uh, where I want to put the shop at back here. So I need to be uh, at least a hundred, probably a couple of hundred feet behind the back of this goat pen back there. So anyway, I started working on this, then we went and ate. Uh, Thanksgiving with our neighbors because we're not doing ours to tomorrow. I'll just show y'all what I've been working on. Alright, see here's the back of the goat pen. And, uh, so, I need to go a ways that way, and I really ain't figured out how I'm going to get through there. Now, one option is I probably could just go around my neighbor's. He's got a cut through there. I could probably go around through there and get there, but, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I don't know. I'm just looking, I'm trying to make a temporary road to get back in here, because I want to take that metal shelter and put it back here, and, uh, what I'm wanting to do is move everything to where the business stuff is going to be. I was going to move it down here by the storage container temporarily, but the truth is that, you know, it's the winter. I got as much time as I'm going to have right now. And so uh, I even looked at renting a mini excavator or something, but some of this stuff is just too big for it to tackle. So I don't know yet what I'm going to do. The, I want to get a road cut in here on the property line, but it's got big, huge stumps. I mean, I had to hire somebody to come in with a big excavator and dig all that out. And uh, I don't want to spend that money right now. So so I'm just going to work with what I got and, and see what I can figure out. So that's what we got going.
All right, I don't know how well y'all can see. It's obviously getting dark. Uh, but working the farm track, man, does a pretty good job for such a light tractor, 30 horsepower. It ain't real heavy. All right, we're back at the house. And uh, I'll go ahead and get off here, get this thing loaded up. Hey, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving opportunity together with family. And uh, maybe you get to do that even over the course of this weekend. And my prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you. And that you might sell of your blessings as for me. I hope you have a great day.